Amen. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I think we're we're more on time today, so we might have caught people off guard. Mm. Probably. Everybody's still sleeping. Well, it's a nice day. It's, it's not like one of those rainy days. Although I have to admit, it's I, supposed to be like I would have loved seventy three. Some more time in bed to just lounge and read. Like, oh, this would have been a nice day to just. Nobody's watching yet. <sighs> All right. Anyway, so we're here. We are here. Uh, it's supposed to be a beautiful sunny day. Mm, Two people. Uh, so get out and about. Uh, and actually, and I, I forgot about this, but um, this weekend is uh, Maine Maple Weekend. It is? Mm hmm Because, wow. because they, they couldn't do it in March yeah. or April. Uh, March. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they're doing it this weekend. <clears throat> so... Don't they usually do it because the sap is running and then people come into the sugar houses and see how the... Yeah, well, obviously, they're probably not going to... Right. Not going to be able to do that, but... So it'll be a... All the sugar places are open, and they're going to mm -hmm. have... So, mm -hmm. get out and... A modified, uh, a modified. Yep. Maple sugar weekend. Right. Yeah, that's good. You should definitely visit But them. everyone, so get out, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's today and tomorrow. I think it usually is a weekend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think they got a website, the main maple... Is it, It's usually just main maple Sunday, isn't it? Oh. In March. Maybe but I'm pretty sure, I just heard it on the radio, so I'm pretty sure it's the we whole We should weekend. write that down. We should write stuff like that down. I just heard it in the car, oh, coming oh, down. Okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, <clears throat> it would be great to get out and uh, support the uh, your local sugar shack. Mm -hmm. uh, since they weren't able to, uh, and I think they said it's supposed to be a national thing, like national maple syrup. Hmm. Really? Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's, uh, they, they're doing it as a national, uh, hmm. thing. Event. Yeah. Whatever. Uh. Also good, goes good in tea, maple syrup. Oh, it's fantastic I, mean, I don't think tea. people think about that, but, you know, it's honey or sugar, you know, that type mm -hmm. of thing, but maple, maple syrup. Yeah, goes. and maple syrup is the real stuff, not the stuff. Yeah, not stuff. The log cabin, uh. But the real stuff is, uh, it's actually really good for you. A lot yeah. of antioxidants. Lot of an lots of antioxidants. And I don't think the uh, sugar level is, right, the glycemic index? Well, there's a glycemic index, which I'd have to do some research on that. But the glycemic index, but but I don't know. If you are if you are a diabetic and you're counting the, the, sh the carbs in your sugar, it's teaspoon for, for teaspoon, so white does, sugar, honey, matter. maple syrup is... Yeah, it's kind of the same in that regards, but it, it may not. That glycemic index thing is kind of, you know. But you only need a little bit in your tea anyway. You only need so you don't bit. want it to taste like maple syrup necessarily. Yeah, just a little sweetener. Good morning, Della. Good morning, Gleason's. From, from where? Metro Gridstone on the east branch of the mighty Penobscot. Hmm. Wow. Is that a, like a camp? Metro Gridstone. Gridstone. I don't know what that is. Oh, wait. Grindstone, sorry. I don't know. Oh, yeah, Perhaps making I fun should. of me. <laughs> okay. I usually have my glasses on. You can't see with well, your glasses. Perhaps you should get your glasses on. Um, so, anyway, uh, I lost track of what I was going to say. I didn't write things down this morning. Um, we are completely under her. Oh, so I, I put this shirt on this morning, <laughs> and uh, it kind of made me think, because uh, I usually wear it uh, to the Harvest Festival which uh, is coming up in, uh, usually is in like the, what, third week in November? Something like that. Anyway. Yeah, it's usually the second or the third week in November. Yeah, and they, were, they uh, even though we fully <laughs> anticipated it wasn't going to happen this year, they, uh, they've been sending out emails that it was going to happen. Um, we just got final word uh, Thursday or something that it is not going to happen this year, as morning, many, Anne. Many, many of you, uh, morning, Anne. Uh, may have guessed that uh, they're not going to be able to. Have we, them and we were really surprised they waited so long, and we kept we kept thinking yeah, because they kept, no way they kept that's going to happen. All the communication was as though it was still going to happen. Yeah. So, 
Unfortunately, there'll be no 10th anniversary Harvest Festival celebration this year. Um, so we'll, we'll just, um, and that's a huge event for us, a huge yeah. event for so many local uh, vendors and farmers uh, and the neighbors yeah. and the. So, you know, you all know probably a lot of them. I, you can get onto the Harvest Festival website, but certainly going into the holiday season, it's important to uh, to uh, try to support those those uh, folks, um, and uh, because that's that's a huge for so many of us. That's a huge event. Well, we reached so um, many people. Thousands. Of yeah, people. they had like seven thousand last year yeah. in the two days. So, uh, if any of you have been, you know it's it's a madhouse. It's an amazing event, though. There were so many awesome. Um, well, it, right, vendors. it's uh, every, from, every like, year. Did you even know there were so many varieties of garlic? No. I mean, crazy. I mean, just the the things that you see there. Just, yeah, it blows my mind every yeah, year. Yeah. I'm like, I did, I have no idea. There's so many talented people. Everything from. It's the same from soup, soup to nuts. Pretty, yeah, pretty much. And tea. <laughs> and tea. Um, and so, we won't be doing that this year, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll still be here. We will still be here. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, and so the COVID update, the uh, Governor Mills uh, announcement, I think it was Tuesday, uh, the stage four reopening plans. Uh, it kind of puts us in a interesting spot i guess uh because the places that could have 50 uh, could have s seating could now be now operate at, like restaurants and and so forth at 50 percent capacity uh so unfortunately the uh, the other part of that um stage four was the, there's a few things but for retails retailers it's still five people for every thousand square feet and as I've told many of you, we have a retail license. So that trumps our, probably shouldn't have said Trump, that, um, what's the, uh, the word for? Uh, <laughs> um, so <clears throat> really, we, we are. We have to go by the retail we license. We have to go by the retail license. And we are a bit of an anomaly. And so we've called the state, we, Dan's called the state, I don't know, like uh, three, three times. times, okay. To try to get them to understand that hi oh Mike. hey mike oh jester yeah <laughs> anyway so um we to try to get them to understand what we do right and you know the different spaces and you know how they're different but be and we even uh they actually suggested maybe, maybe we get a uh, license uh, restaurant license um so that we can open the lounge and but it but it still restricts us so if we go with that, then um, if we go with the restaurant, then we're still restricted to half capacity. So it's sort of like, it, it, and, we, and we have to count ourselves. So really there's For no- For the restaurant, we have to count ourselves. For retail, we don't. Yeah, so, so we're sort of back at the same number. So it doesn't really even make sense to do that. And we really aren't a, a restaurant. We really, that's not really yeah. our focus. It's really just, we're a retail, store and oh by the way if you'd like to come and have a cup of tea but we can't well, that was our, that's what we wanted that's why we moved <clears throat> into this space yeah. was to have the lounge to have come sit and have a cup of tea yeah. it was never meant to be a you know come for the food right uh, although it sort of turned out that way after a little bit sort of they can still come for the food but anyway <sighs> so we're still going on uh, they assured us that they're always of course evaluating Overrides is far superior to trump anything. Just override. Saying. Thank you. Yep. We knew we could count on you guys. <laughs> we're, we're the words just. Yeah. I don't know. Is it aged? Do you think like the words? My words just don't come to me. I know that I'm at work and no, I'm, I'm trying just to think of what is that word. than a bag of rocks. <laughs> not, not you, but me. Oh, the words just uh, escape me. So sometimes. we're drinking. Oh, um, so on with the tea. Yeah. So. Uh, a great green tea, a lot of people um, are hesitant to drink green tea. Uh, either they've had had green tea, uh, they didn't care for the taste of it, uh, which usually is because they're brewing it 
incorrectly? That well, that was my case for sure. So I never liked green tea. I always drink drink black tea, and I didn't like green tea because it was bitter and grassy. And not until I sort of did more research and and got into this business. Morning, Allison. That I um. Scones are not a snack. Mm. I know. I'm so sorry. Yeah, we got. I know it's mm. so hard. So <clears throat> anyway, the 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 thing was that we, um we found out was that um I brewed my green tea just like I brewed the black tea, um which is you know pretty much almost no, no. Bo boiling water in three to five minutes, um and not <clears throat> that is not how you want to brew your green tea at all. And so it's a bit of an adjustment for people to think about that. Like, what does that mean? The water can't be too hot. Right. And what does that mean that um, you don't brew it for as long? I don't just stick the tea bag in it and leave it in there for half the day. You know, so it really does need to be, it's, it's sort of like, it's just baby green leaves. They're just baby leaves. They're not dried out, you know, as much. They're not like, oxidized. Yeah, like the black tea leaves. So think of that when you're, you know. They're more delicate. They're delicate when you're. Giving a baby the bath, you know, it's a tepid water. Hey, Noni. Uh, tepid water, and uh, so anyway, so the same thing. Eleven people. Woo. Sorry. So, geez, um, <laughs> so, <clears throat> so it's um, like 175 is the temperature I sort of like. That's a if you don't really have, good. It's a general temperature. Yeah, and if you don't have an electric tea kettle that tells you, then basically when the water starts to steam in your kettle or your, even your your saucepan, then you know what? It's it's hot enough for the green tea. It really is. And then two minutes. Or if it comes to a boil, minutes, just let it rest for... If you happen like, to go in and get your put, you put your makeup and do your hair, you come on it's like, oh my God, and that was boiling. Yeah, you have to let it sit for 10, 15 minutes. Before that happens a lot. <laughs> I have an electric tea kettle. That never happens anymore. <clears throat> um... <laughs> Yeah, so you got to be careful with the water temperature and time because green tea should never be bitter. Uh, any tea should never, never, as I've always said, it never should be bitter. Um, you will get some astringency from different teas because of the the uh, the uh, not polyphenols. What's the, help me tannins? <laughs> All right. So anyway, we are not on we're today. Drinking, Whoa! Uh, I haven't had my matcha. Is the problem? Oh. So we're drinking uh, bancha. Mm. Um, which is a, um, it's a Japanese green tea. Um, fairly, it's, it's actually, I think it translates into commoner everyday, uh, tea. Hi, Diane. Good morning, Diane. Sorry, it is so hey, small. Bye. Um, commoner everyday tea. So it's a great, we always, uh, people that are starting green tea. Yeah. It's a great, you know, yeah. introduction to green tea. Yeah, Dragon Ball tends to be a lot lighter. Um, yeah. It has a little sweetness to it. Um, Gunpowder. We're talking about Pancha. A little bolder. Right, so I'm comparing. Oh, okay, right. this is a little nice little middle of the road. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's a, it is a great place to start mm -hmm. for drinking. It, always ha it also has an, an interesting mouthfeel because it's definitely not astringent or anything like that. It's very... Um, Smooth, but more than you just more than just drinking. I don't know what I want to say. It's smooth. hot water. Yeah. Uh, so, but the bancha, the actual tea itself, a lot of people have heard of sencha, which is a very famous and popular mm -hmm. uh, Japanese green tea that the production of matcha comes from. Uh, so, that's usually the sencha is usually the first pick or flush in the early spring with just the really young uh, leaf, the new growth, where the bancha is either second or sometimes uh, the autumn flush. Um, but ours is a summer flush, so that's a, the leaves are a little bit coarser, a little tougher, um, so it, it tends to, the flavor's not quite as, uh, you don't get as much of the sweetness um, mm -hmm. as you do, like from the, there's less amino acids in it, so you, that, delivers a sweetness in the tea. You get less of that like you would in Essentia, which is a nice, sweet, grassy um, green tea. So this is, you don't get as much of that. You get not some. And not heavy. It's, it's not, not heavy. heavy. Yeah. It's just a nice general um, a Tuesday green tea, you know, every day. Yeah, every day. So uh, if you haven't tried Bancha, you want to try green tea, you don't want something flavored, I would suggest getting a hold of some bancha 
uh, which we happen to carry, um, and try it out uh, yeah. with those uh, steeping very, instructions very, in mind. Very nice. Uh, and it's great for multiple infusions, as as you can do with any green tea. Mm -hmm. Just put the if you're you're, you're using um, a, an infuser or the di disposable tea bags or the reusable cotton ones, whatever you're using, just put that aside. And the next time you want to make another cup, you know it has to be within you know the day. Yeah, you don't want to leave your leaves leave overnight. It, don't leave it overnight, but you know, so you know, maybe unless you like science projects and. Mm -hmm. But a couple hours later, Bumpus. you want another cup of tea and you want it fresh, then you can just put that same tea in, um, use the same um, the same degree of uh, temperature. Same water temperature. Yep, yep, same water temperature. And then just, I would, I just usually um, steep it for another ex extra 30 seconds to a minute. Yeah, she's you know. a 30 seconder, I'm a minute. I like stronger flavors. Yes. Oh, 12. Um, Stop. So, Stop. I'm always impressed. Stop. Um, all right, what else? You know, we've actually thought about how fun this would be if we could do a Zoom. I would love to do a Zoom. Because then we could actually have Saturday a morning, everybody grab some tea. I know, we have talked about you that. You could even have coffee if you wanted to. Yeah, we're okay with that. It's fine. I'm not okay with it, but I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'll allow it. Yeah, that's, that's one of his favorite terms. Oh, I'll allow it. That's a coffee-free zone. Like, like that ever happens. Yeah. Like, that, like that's an issue. Like, what else? What are we going to talk about? I forget. Um, well, well, I got, all right, I got the tea. Sorry. The joke of the day before I forget it. So, only one joke today. What kind of tea... Let's see if I can remember this. What kind of tea do teachers drink? Shout out to all you teachers out there. You guys are... I'm so yeah. glad I'm not a teacher right now. <laughs> I got to tell you, when I was... Yes, Zoom answers. Yes, Zoom. Yeah. We'll have to look into that. And because I know people do Zoom, and they also... Well, let me think about this. Because the Facebook Live is good, because you can, even if you don't catch it live, you can go back and watch it later. Oh, uh, right. And I don't think we Zoom, can re record Zoom. I think can you we? can. Oh, probably. I think you can, so that other people can watch the whole conversation, maybe? We're going to have to do some research. Probably. Fully. So, if anyone else is up for a Zoom... Uh, Saturday morning Zoom, somebody, somebody tea was, Zoom. Somebody was worried that people could hack into it, but I don't think that uh, tea notes. No, it's good, but that's not the answer. Sorry, we forgot the joke. All right. What kind of tea do teachers joke. drink? I didn't forget it. All right, do you know? I don't. Faculty. <laughs> that's stupid. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Shannon says you can record Zoom. Okay. And so then... Do we, then do we post the Zoom on Facebook? Like, I know this sounds, and I know people have asked us to do, uh, like, a YouTube channel, but then I don't, I feel like we don't get the same, it's like, it's like, oh, click the link below and leave me a comment, you know, and it, we don't get the same interact, like. Well, that's what we're missing spot. here. I mean, we get Interaction, interactions yeah. by the little. Yes, you can rewatch. <clears throat> Thank you, Noni. So, it's nice to be able to see people. It, it would be nice to see everybody. And that would, like, and it's a instead more, of right. having people in the lounge, we can have you on. No, we do miss our people. Mm -hmm. There's so many people, so many people. All right, so the other thing I want, I did want to let people know is we do have more of the tea necklaces that have been um, delivered. Oh, indeed. So we have a, a few of those, and then we... And a beautiful batch she just brought uh, in. They really is really nice. Della Zoom, yes. No email link, so attendance is controlled. Oh, so you think can't hook faculty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Well, we'll have to do some research on the Zoom thing. Email link is a... Right, so I do remember, so when we use it at work, you have to be allowed into the room. Yeah. Right. So maybe we could just post. You can upload it. Google Meet is easier. Both have security issues because you're sharing the link in public forum. Yeah. I don't think we have to worry about it so much. We're not that big a deal. I think anyone's going to hack into us. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh. They'd hack in and go, okay, well, we made a mistake. Or password protect. It's easy. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah, at work, I do have a, um, I have my own meeting ID. Mm-hmm. So that's my meeting. You have to be able to get it. All right. Well, All right, we're so going to work so, on that. So the necklaces. So the other thing I just wanted. So we did take Deej's advice about pairing the teas and the necklaces. So when you purchase a necklace, the appropriate tea. Corresponding corresponding tea. Corresponding tea. Thank you. 
see words. No, 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 no worries. Um, corresponding tea is 20% off. So if we happen to have um, a blueberry necklace and that's your favorite and you want to get the tea and the necklace and buy the necklace and the tea is 20% off. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. So speaking of, speaking of tea, are we doing tea of the week? Yes. We're doing banjo. I have the little names all cut out, you know. Yeah, but that doesn't. Well, we can. Go I can off. get the little bag. I have them right you there. You want to do that? All right. Sorry. We are so not with it. <laughs> this is. Uh, oh my. We are. Yes. We're. We have things to do. We have. We have to get ready. We have to get ready. Or we. He's got it in his head. That he wants to draw. The weekly. The weekly tea. That's what he. That's what he wants to do. So every week, he wants to draw the tea. It would be nice if we the tea of the week was the tea that we talked about, but no, he wants to draw the tea. So that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Right. we're good. Got a big teacup. All the tea names. Okay. It took me a long, long. How much are the necklaces? The necklaces are fifteen dollars, and we we would put them on the the um. The website but they're they're always different because they're always every single one is one of a kind there every every right. single one is unique plate. yeah the tea leaves are placed but anyway all right pick a tea of the week so we can't you know we could but that'd be a lot of take it on and take it off this could freeze them cold comfort Ooh, oh, blend nice. some of that. <laughs> all right do we have Lemon Rubina. <laughs> yes, we okay. have all the ingredients. Okay, for this excellent. One. All right. Excellent. Cold Comfort. Cold Comfort is twenty percent off this week. All week until next Saturday. Until and, next Saturday. Um. Yep. And Ooh, I made gingerbread oh. madelines and enjoyed a cup of oh maple sugar tea. Oh yum. Gingerbread madelines with what maple madelines? sugar too. The little cookies. Oh, those little. Uh, they look like little upside down seashells or something. Oh. Yeah. Gingerbread. Not those little meringue things there. What are those? Macron. Yeah. No. Okay. All right. So uh, next, do we have anything else to talk about? No. We have to get ready to open. Yeah. We so next behind. Saturday is uh, an episode you're not going to want to miss. So set your alarm clocks and uh, tune in next Saturday. Allison? Oh, it's a French sponge cake. Oh. oh. I have sponge cake. What is but, that like? But they're little, right? They're like angel food cake. Is that a sponge cake? Yeah, yeah. I have, the, I have the. Um, You'll have to make some of those. I have the mole. Well, there goes that gift surprise. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did you like your birthday presents? <laughs> Did you oh, like them? Oh, way to go! Well, you know. Well, somebody asked. All right. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> I hope I hope you liked them. Um, and happy birthday, oh, by funny. the way. I meant to mention that last week. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So next, next Saturday. <laughs> uh, so we're going to give you a little. She did. I was. Uh, what was they? Let's just call them scenes. Oh. From next week's episode. Scenes from next week's episode. A little ready? preview. Okay. Ready. 